hello and welcome to this week's EFT tapping video. This is the third video of our series of tapping for improving eyesight. So welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I'm Helen and I post EFT tapping videos every Thursday and I'm currently doing this series because I am going through a clinical trial myself on which is researching the benefits of um, tapping for improving eyesight and clearing things that might be in the way. So last week, in the last video, we were looking at fear that might there might be something that we're afraid of looking at. And the first one was resistance to healing. Why might there be resistance, you know, we try and figure it out with our logical brain. That doesn't always make sense. So um, if you're new to tapping, there is a video below where I explain a bit more about the tapping points and, um, and how and why it works. There is science to back this up and the person doing the research, Dr. Keita Stapleton, I'll put a link below to that as well. And... Um, you don't, but you don't need to worry about that. Uh, you can, all you need to do is follow along with me, and it doesn't matter which side of the body you tap on, or if you've got any kind of physical um, restriction that you can't reach some of the points. That's fine. Just keep tapping on the previous one, or skip that one and go to the next one. It doesn't matter. Do whatever works for you. Um, now we always start by taking a few deep breaths and this helps to ground yourself in the present. I mean, whatever comes up while you're tapping, don't worry about it. It's just keep, you just keep tapping through it and it works for clearing negative beliefs and blocks and also for reinforcing positive ones too. So you can do this sitting or, or standing, but I do recommend that you have your legs uncrossed and both feet on the floor, if that's possible for you. And as you take the breaths, feeling the support of the earth. And notice right now, when um, you think about guilt, I didn't mention that, did I? This week we're looking at guilt around how that might be affecting our eyesight today. Because we store it all in the body. So something might come to mind immediately and you can choose to tap on that. And noticing on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is really intense and 1 is hard anything there at all how guilty you feel about this issue this thing that happened and it's purely subjective just go with the number that first comes and it just helps you see if there's been any shift at the end of the tapping session so we start by tapping on the side of the hand the karate chop point Even though I feel guilty about this issue, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though there's guilt stored in my body, which is affecting my eyesight today, still love and accept myself the way I am. Even though I have this guilt around what happened, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So we move to the eyebrow point. 
feeling so guilty about this. Side of the eye. I really find it hard to let go of it. Under the nose. I even cringe sometimes when I think about what I did. And I still affected by this guilt, even today. Collarbone. It's so hard to let go of this guilt. Under the arm. And I know it's not really helping to still feel guilty about it. I just can't seem to let go of it. Eyebrow points. I feel so guilty about what happened. Even though it's in the past. Under the eye. It's still affecting my eyesight today. It's still stored in my body. All this guilt about this issue. Collarbone. And it's preventing me from seeing clearly. and it's affecting my eyesight even today. Top of the head, all this guilt about this issue. Eyebrow point. I know it's probably really not helpful to still feel guilty about it. But I find it hard to let go of. After all, I should feel guilty for what I did. It's hard to forgive myself. Chin. I'm not sure I even deserve forgiveness about this. After all, what I did was bad. Under the arm. And probably my guilt is justified. Top of the head, even though it's stored in my body and preventing me from seeing clearly. But what if I could just soften a little bit around this? Side of the eye. Remembering that I was doing my best at the time. Under the nose. And, and even though I don't like what I did, It might be easier just to forgive myself and let it go. Collarbone. And I don't have to make the same mistake again in the future. Under the arm. I'm a different person now. And I'd never do anything like that again. So I choose to release and let go. Eyebrow point. 
to let go of any old guilt that's still stored in my body. Side of the eye. To let go of any guilt that's still affecting my eyesight. Under the nose. To let go of any guilt that's stopping me from seeing clearly. Under the chin. I choose to release all guilt from my body. I choose to release all guilt from my energy field. Under the arm. And I choose to release all guilt from my thoughts. Top of the head. I'm releasing all guilt now. So I can see more clearly in the future. Stop tapping and take deep breaths. Close your eyes and just checking in. How does that feel now? How strong does that guilt feel? The number may have gone down a bit or it may have gone up and that means that it's starting to come out and you can go back and tap um, again and of course you can replace any of my words with words of your own and remember to be kind to yourself because Obviously, back when you did the thing that you feel guilty about, you're not the person that you are now and you're choosing to heal and release it because holding on to guilt doesn't serve anybody, especially you. So that's it for this week. I'll be back next Thursday for week four of Tapping to Improve Eyesight. If you enjoy my videos, please consider buying me a cup of tea to um, support my work the link is in the description below and happy tapping and until the next time take care go well and lots of love